are you everybody? It is ADCC week. Get hyped if you're not hyped already, man. We are just five days away from the big tournament. I get goosebumps just saying that, man. I can't wait for this one. But first, we're going out to a big gym here in Long Beach, California. We're going to Checkmat HQ on our way right now. Guys like Kanato Canuto, Mateus Gabriel, Leo Vieira, Kaka just got her invite yesterday, I believe. And of course, Shesha is going to be there. One of the very best competitors of all time. Super excited to, to be here in Long Beach checking these guys out, how they're training for the big tournament. Like I said, man, it's five days away. It's almost here. It is almost here. I cannot wait for it. Let's go check out Checkmat HQ. Come on, let's go. Laura, we beat first point. We're gonna start in the guard. Okay? So all the ADCC compared is gonna be playing top. We be first point or any seat if they got a seat belt control, stop, or any side control, mount position, submission. First point or seat belt control. Okay? So I want they move as much they they be able to control the person, make the person turn their back and get the seat belt or score any points or submission. So the person top for five minutes, you guys are gonna be sparring to take the back or score any point, pass, mount or submission. Okay, five minutes. Everybody ready? Yeah, how's the team feeling for ACC? They're good, they're great. Like, uh, very excited, especially for Kaká just sent up in the last week. So, but she have been training so much for that. As a coach, I have been getting results. Uh, not just myself, but results all through my competitor for a long time. So we have a really good tradition to have uh, people fighting in ACC. And like I have a good expression, as, as like always, like they say. Yeah. How pumped are you for ADCC, man? Man, I'm very excited. So, I train a lot. And now, yeah, I'm waiting for another challenge, you know. We're the best, like, Ben Hams and Woods. So now, I'm really, I'm really excited because, you know, like, ADCC, I never competed before. This is, like, my first time. So, guys, I'm very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait for it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How you feeling now? You about to step I'm in? Ready, there? you know. I'm, I'm the 88 kilogram reserve, ready at any time. <laughs> you have to go to battle with uh, Bouchesha. I, I have no respect for anyone on the mats. So <laughs> I don't think I'll go against them though. Feeling great. So I've been doing this camp for a long, uh, for a lot of weeks and. Of course, after the wars, I, I took some time off. Otherwise, the, the, the mind and the body can't hold up. So I took some rest and then I started training the no gi. It's been a couple weeks and I'm feeling really good. It's, it's always good for me because I like to train so much with the gi. So sometimes take the gi off and train no gi. It's, an, it's a different sport, so it makes me feel good. I always feel like learning again. All my talking is here on the mat, so I just go there and do what I'm, what I, what I always do. So I go there and do work, you know what I mean? I think ADC is a hard camp because it's not everyone that's in, so it's not everyone that has the same motivation. But here we're glad we have like a team that everybody supports each other. That makes it easier for us to, to train and to get ready. 
Uh, it is a scene in general is, I think, the worst cap because it's like no gears, wrestling, the rule set, so it's not something easy. It takes a lot of your body. But I have Leo here, like a great, like a great example. I think if I'm not wrong, he's the one with most ADCC appearance in the history of the ADCC. So he knows a lot of it. I think he knows more than anyone about the rules, about the timing, about the positions, and about the game. It makes it much easier to, to train and to learn about the ADCC because it's so different than anything else. The ADCC Open Class is the only thing that I don't have in my career yet. I've been in one final, in one same final. I did a lot of mistakes during the camp, during the fights, so I know what I have to fix. And now it's time to go there and fix the mistakes and go for this one. Uh, when you look at the, the divisions and, and um, anything, uh, is there anybody who you're really excited to, to go up against out there? Or any, any rematches or anything like that? Not really. Anyone who shake my hand, I'm going there to kill or die, you know what I mean? So, if the guy stands in front of me, it doesn't matter who he is, I'm going to win, you know what I mean? So, it doesn't matter who he is. Yeah, that's it. Uh, ADCC I like because I think it's something that every fighter should do, you know what I mean? A lot of guys, they call like themselves good, they call themselves ah, blah, blah, blah. But they fight just gi, you know what I mean? But when you go there and you fight the ADCC, it's something different. So, I respect much more fighters that do gi and no gi, like ADCC, than fighters that just do ones, like, on one sport or another sport, you know what I mean? So, it's a good test for, for yourself. That's, that's, that's the thing that I like in ADCC. So excited, it's just what five days now. So I mean like been preparing a long time for this, you know, like prepared for the trials this year, got to win the trials and then like all my focus. Like I, I had the other competitions this year, but my main focus was always like the ADCC, so I was always like focusing more nogi, nogi, nogi. And it's the dream, like I think this year is gonna be the biggest one ever, you know, the organization and it's amazing. Like it's almost sold out, right? So I can't wait, like everyone uh, helped me a lot to get here, you know, like all the, the teammates, everyone, like pushing hard every day, making me push to my limit, so I can't be, couldn't be more excited. I can say I'm blessed to be here around those guys, you know, uh, Buchecha has been for a long time considered like the best of all times, you know, and like all the other guys, Renato is coming like the last two years has been like just exploded, like it's one of the best right now also. So like, I can say I'm blessed to train with those guys, you know, and just, uh, it helps me to push myself harder, look up to them, and uh, it just makes me push harder and try to like do my best every day and be better than before. You know, one of our favorite divisions is the absolute yeah. division. And of course, we never know who's gonna be in it. But um, if you had to guess, who do you think stands the top of the uh, absolute podium at the end of the day? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I train with him every day. I know, I know he's, He's the best, you know, and this year I know it's his year, he's been better than ever and like just smashing everyone and just feel happy to be helping him to get there, you know. Maybe I'll go, I'll go and throw myself in there, <laughs> see how it goes also, but my, my main focus is the division, but I think Bushesh is going to win this year.
how you feel for ADCC. I'm excited. I'm so amazing. Ready. I can't wait for the one. Woo! Let's do it. Five days now, five days out of the tournament, and uh, I've trained now for over two months. So it's been like pretty tiring already. Like I'm, I'm very excited to go and compete, and I'm really looking forward to to fight. The training is almost done, so the body it was very tough on the body in general for for all of us. Uh, I I was here for a while now for the last three weeks about. I've been here training too. So I was training a lot of Gabriel Almeida, Puchecha, uh, Matheus Gabriel. So it's like, it's really not a super fun everyday training, you know? Uh, but it was definitely very, very good. And uh, I improved a lot, I learned a lot. So I'm excited. <laughs> it's definitely a very fun event to watch. And uh, over the years, like I never really thought Never really gave like big thought about it, but then since I started training more nogi, that that definitely made you know like that definitely sank, sank into my head. Now more and more like 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 any event, I will take a two months camp and I will get ready and I will study everyone and I will fix my game and I will study the rules and and I make sure to do as a professional of a work as I can leading up to the tournament. Even though it's my debut, I still feel like I'm, I'm, I'm very confident, you know? I'm confident and uh, I feel ready. You're a nogi guy now. I'm a nogi guy now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, I'm a nogi guy. I've heard that before. He was weird at first. I was like, no, I'm not a nogi guy. And I was like, you know what? I'm, now I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of a nogi guy. <laughs> I'm a nogi gi guy at all. You know, uh, I have more fun training nogi nowadays, I'm not gonna lie. I do have more fun training Nogi. The, for, from all the training camps that I did, leading up to Nogi tournaments to fight all these guys. So it's been fun. ADCC have a very different rule set. This time I will be taking more risks than I usually do. This time I will be pushing myself a little bit more than I usually do, you know? And that's why I think I'm gonna try. I know that people kind of know that. I know that people are probably watching out for me. But be ready to get tired. I'm coming for you. Guys, it's a good job. It's a good training. Okay? Like I said, it's the last week. Okay? So, that is anything you guys want to say or... Thank you guys very much, everybody, for training. I know this is hard because not most of you compete just a few. Uh, and it's really important to have everybody help each other. So our team prove one more time that we are like we are more than just a team. We are a family, so that's why everybody help each other, and that's why we are red because everyone. Of course, thanks Leo, Lucas, Bernard, and all the black belts. For help, uh, for help us during the training camp. What happened here today was exactly what, uh, like the concept of the team. You know, like it's uh, it's everybody training, helping each other the way that uh, Bushesha was telling. Like Jiu-Jitsu is a big, it's a sacrifice. So you sacrifice for somebody else. You know, it's and that's what we see here today. We see so many people that are. Uh, you know, put away your own goal, your your ego, and then help you to, to training those guys over here. For me, it's a very honor to be here one more time. So, and be represent to you guys. Thank you so much.